One of us has got a lift while the other one crawls through. Got it. I'll just... <laughs> Get under! Whoa, you all right? Let Get me help. Get your ass through before I drop it on your head! Okay, I've got it. Uh, thanks. <sighs> you need a break after that, old man? Come on. I'm not that old. So you're telling me Kidman had a plan to take out Mobius all this time? Actually, it was your wife's plan. Wait, Myra? So that's why she's here. She's part of Mobius. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Gonna have to duck. Don't blow your back out. This isn't the time, Torres. You know, you should be proud of your wife. She's compelling. She recruited me for this plan. I don't understand. Why would she join them? She found out they had Lily, and knew the only way to take them down was from the inside. So she joined up and waited for the right moment. All these years, that's where she was. Damn it. This is a lot to take in. I'm sure it is, but let's not lose focus. We've got to get over this. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. Ready? Hold on, I've got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hey, you just gonna forget about me? What, you thought I'd leave you hanging like that? You're a part of the plan now. The plan. Right. Who else was involved in this little mutiny? Just four of us. Me, Kidman, Myra, and Theodore. Theodore? Father Theodore? Father Theodore? I just call him Theodore Wallace. You know him? We've met. But he doesn't want to save Lily. He wants her for himself. Tried to talk me into hunting down Myra, too. He's the one who screwed everything up. How is this whole thing supposed to go? Once Myra and Theodore got Lily, Theodore and I were gonna get her out while Myra stayed behind to take care of Mobius. Kidman stayed outside and make sure we got out of Stun safely. Shit, it was supposed to be easy. Nothing's ever easy. Oh no. What is it? Shh. Shit. We got trouble. Look. Quick, follow me. for your safe house. I wouldn't put my safe house in the open like that. It's hidden, but we've got to get past those things to get there. You see that red banner behind that building? Yeah. The hatch to my safe house is under it. Okay, I'll take the lead. Stay low and keep behind me. Right, but listen, I've seen these things before. Don't get near them while they're on fire. <laughs>
That's one way to do it. I was maybe expecting a little bit more stealth. There's no place like home, but a safe house runs a close second. Listen. Don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. So what are we gonna do about Theodore? I don't know. He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... changed. This place seems to have affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him, maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you gonna do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. Sebastian? Where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian.
Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kidman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend. Until they stab you in the back. One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? <sighs> I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. Being the tip of the knife is a dangerous job. At least he died fighting. Without him, that stable field emitter would still be off. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. 
Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Thanks, Kitty. Welcome back, detective. You're back. New knowledge requires new abilities for the challenges ahead. If you knew something I didn't, you could have just told me and saved me the headache. If only I could. But this is a journey you must take alone. But I'm not alone. I found others to help me. Taurus, Hoffman, O'Neill. They are there to accompany you. But the discovery is yours alone to make. Discovery. And self-discovery. That's what makes STEM so... intriguing. <laughs> 